so it's gonna be impossible. Oh, hey, Bella. Uh, thanks for coming by on such short notice. I just wanted to get your eyes on the Foxy profile before we went yeah. to press, see if you have any corrections. Yeah, of course. And if I see any mistakes, should I just yell, stop the presses, or? Yeah, please don't yell that. Uh, here it is. Whoa. Yeah, I think it's my finest work since I ranked all the murals on campus by how racist they are. <laughs> no, I mean, this looks more like a profile of me than the Foxy as a whole. Yeah, I, I tried to spread it around, but your quotes were funnier and more passionate. You were also the loudest, which may have factored into things. I guess I'm just worried that the other editors might feel a little left out. Uh, well, if you want, uh, I can use this group photo instead, and I can add in a few more quotes from the other girls to even it out. <sighs> I don't know. Whatever you want, just tell me. I have to write, like, 20 alumni obituaries, and there's not that many ways to say dead white businessman. Let's... Keep it as it is. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Cool. Thanks. How's everyone doing? What the hell, Bella? This article is entirely about you. It literally says your name more than the name of our magazine. How did this happen? I'm so sorry. I have no idea. I would have assumed he would have written about all of us. Maybe the reporter has a crush on me or something. Nice try. He's seeing someone, which he told me after he rejected me brutally. Then I have no idea how this happened. This is so strange. It makes it look like you created the Foxy all by yourself. Did he show this to you before he printed it? No. If he had, I would have asked him to Photoshop my boobs to look bigger. You know what? I'll reach out to him right now and make sure he prints a retraction. It's fine. Let's just forget it.